Hi, this is marriage and intimacy couple, Tua Tua. We are talking about types of sex in marriage. Yes. The next type of sex in marriage, yes. it is what we call relaxation sex. Tell us about that. Wow, relaxing sex is yes. very nice. You get a place where you can relax. And this is something that every couple must endeavor to have. Yes. Because relaxing sex involves the same word, just that simple word, relaxing. Relax. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can do it at home, Yes. but it is better when it is done away far from home. Uh -huh. You know, like a place like this. You a know? place like Babu. Don't carry the children. Praise. Yeah, just come alone together with your spouse. Mm -hmm. Have a time serene, a place that is so natural, quiet, uh -huh. and just cool. relax and just switch off everything mm -hmm. that you've been going through. Maybe yes. their loans, the other burdens yes. about work, things that are not going right. Yes. You come and relax. Uh -huh. So you need to be away from home. Okay. So that's very, very important and so good to rewind, yes. to be able to, to refocus again, yes. to be able to get new energy from within. Mm -hmm. And you can also focus your mind and think the way forward. That can only happen if your mind is relaxing. Yes. I would call it peaceful sex. Ah, yeah, peaceful the word relax goes together sex. with peace. Yes, I it, like that. Yeah, when you are peaceful, you are able to make decisions. Mm -hmm. You are able to see where did you go wrong, yes. where do you need to rectify. Yes. And so this is something that must be practiced by every couple. Peaceful sex. Yes, peaceful <laughs> sex, relaxing sex. You know. Where you just experience that wow. peace of mind and heart. Mm -hmm. And from there, you are able to think again yes. through the same matter yes. and get new vibe yes. that will take you to the next level. Yes. So when last day did you have relaxing? peaceful sex, you need to practice it. It's very, very relieving. It relieves your mind, it relieves your emotions, it even causes you to be more productive than uh -huh. before. And by the end of the day, you bond, you bond, wow. bond, bond. Wow. Remember during relaxing, the mind produces some hormones yes. that are love hormones. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. serotonin is there. Mm -hmm. It's not a big name. Oxytocin that helps you to bond. Melatonin that makes you to sleep soundly. That relaxation yeah. can only be achieved yes. if you and your wife, you purpose to practice relaxing and peaceful sex yes. it's so wonderful wow just like it says wow you need to relax you relax. need to be peaceful mm -hmm. oh yes and i'm trying to imagine a place like this yes babu place mm. maridi yes hakuna matata yes. imagine having relaxation sex yes in such kind of environment it's so beautiful oh it's my so goodness and then you spice it with the nyamachoma uh -huh. You swim a little bit. Yes. Right here. Yeah. All right. Then you're going to have a powerful, powerful breakfast. Yes. And five course meal. Yes. At Maridi, Babu Press is such a wonderful place. Oh, you yeah. need to visit and see what we are talking about. The other type of sex mm -hmm. that you need to know is revenge sex. They also call it what? They also call it maybe you want to teach your partner a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you want to punish you them. You want to teach them a lesson, yes. you know. And this is mostly common because of uh, unmet expectation. Ah. Maybe by your spouse mm. or uh, you feel there's something that this person promised they will do, have, yes. they will buy, and they have not met that expectation. Yes. So you feel so embittered yeah. within you. You feel mm. so bitter mm. and you feel like you are cheated, like the promise was not real. Yeah. And so the only weapon people use is to use their sex to revenge for that thing that was not So done. when you talk about revenge, like you are denying one another? You deny, you forbid each yes. other sex and telling him until the day you do this, until when you take me to this place. So it's like you are using now yes. your sex organ as a revenge weapon. You yes, get that because yes. there was an unmet experience, and it is very common. Uh -huh. It's very, very, very common in marriage. In marriage, and yes. that's wrong. Yes, because you're not supposed to use your sex organ mm -hmm. as a punishment mm -hmm. weapon. Mm -hmm. You know, to punish your partner or to yes. teach them a lesson. Yes, it is manipulative. It is <laughs> centered on selfishness. Centered on selfishness. You want to show how selfish you are, and mm. in marriage, mm. you can never have a good sexual life if you are selfish. Yeah, you need to be selfless. Yes, to one another. Mm -hmm. You can give it to each other freely. Yes, without any boundaries, mm -hmm. whether things are met mm -hmm. or not. Mm -hmm. You know, you are committed mm -hmm. to having a wonderful sex together as a couple. Yeah, and so that should be avoided. Mm. Don't revenge. Don't punish. Yes. Don't mistreat. Mm -hmm. 
end with the sex. No, mm -hmm. that one should should be forbidden completely. Mm -hmm. It's manipulative. It's mm -hmm. demonic. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you hurt each other mm -hmm. so badly. Mm -hmm. 